What if I told you that 80% of your customer support tickets could be resolved instantly without any human intervention? If you're running a SaaS business, you know the pain. Your support team is drowning in repetitive billing questions. Where's my invoice? How do I change my subscription? Where do I update my billing address? Sound familiar? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to automate all of this using Chatbase's new Stripe integration. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete AI-powered billing support system that handles customer requests 24-7. We'll cover four different Stripe actions that will save you and your team hundreds, if not thousands of hours. Instant invoice retrieval, subscription information lookup, subscription management, and billing address updates. Plus, I'll show you the exact setup process so you can implement this today. Let's jump right in. So to get started with Chatbase, the first thing we need to do is register. You can click either on the button on the top or the build your agent button here. Once you register and logged in, we can create our first agent. For that, just click on the button in the top that says new AI agent. Now the first step of creating our AI support agent is actually training it on our data. Chatbase makes this really straightforward. So all this is, is providing your AI agent with as much data and information about your business as possible. So it knows everything that it needs to know about your business to answer all kinds of customer inquiries. In Chatbase, we have quite a few options on the kind of data that we can train our agent on. In the left, you'll see files, text, website, Q&A, and Notion. The files, we just drag and drop PDF, doc, or text files. That can be simple guides, pre-made FAQs, or any other kinds of documents related to your business. In our case, I'm going to upload an FAQ document I have of our mock business as well as a product guide and the research paper on our product. I'm gonna drag and drop them right here. Once they're uploaded, you can see them right here. If you uploaded a wrong document by accident, you can just click and press delete. However, these documents are now ready to be processed by the agent. If you wanted to, you can also add text documents. For example, for specific requests, let's say you have a specific policy for refunds, you can add a title here for that, add the text and format it the way you want to. The other option is adding a website. And there's a few options here. You could either enter your main URL and let Chatbase crawl your URL and find all related links, or you can add individual links. For our case, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add our homepage, our research page, our features page, as well as pricing and the executive program. You'll see all the links you added here. In the Q&A tab, you can add any of your commonly asked questions and answers. In our case, I already uploaded a PDF formatted to that, so we don't need to do this. And the other option is Notion. We can just link our Notion database with all the info about our website. But for our case, I'm happy with our five links and our three files. I'm gonna click on Create Agent. Chatbase will take a few minutes to train your agent on your links and your documents. However, while it's training, you can already start setting up your agent. In the Playground tab, you can actually start testing it. You can start asking questions that the users might ask and see how it responds. However, we'll get to that a bit later. Let's get right into the exciting Stripe integration. For that, let's click on Actions and then click on Integrations. Here, you'll have to connect your Stripe account. So just click Connect. You'll have to log in with your account. Here, you'll just have to press Continue to give Chatbase access to your Stripe account. And that's it. Simple as that, our Stripe account is now connected. To set up the actions, let's head over to Actions and click on Available Actions. Here, let's click on Create Action, and you will see the four actions that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. We've got Stripe Invoices, Stripe Subscription Info, Changing Billing Address, as well as Managing Subscriptions. To set up each one of them, we just click on the action, give action a name. So here I'm just going to name it Stripe Get Invoices. And here below we can tell Chatbase when it should use this action. So here it says, when asked about upcoming invoices, call this tool to reply to the invoices in your response. I'm happy that the preset here and I'm going to click on save. Now that's it. That action is now set up. Now we just repeat the same process for the other four actions. So I've repeated the same process for the other actions. However, the managed subscription is a little bit different. So let's actually finish that one off and let me show you a few more features that it has. So here in the subscription tab, we can actually choose whether we can, we should allow customers to switch plans and whether the customers can change the quantity of their plan. For our case, I'm going to allow them to switch plans. Here, I'll be able to choose a product so I can actually find a product within in my Stripe account, and then I can click on save. And then below I can choose whether or not I should allow customers to cancel the subscription. I'm gonna click on that as well. 
and then click on save. So now that we have our actions linked and set up, all we have to do is enable them. So we can just click on them individually to enable each one of them. And that's it, our actions are now enabled. It really is simple as this. We are now ready to deploy it and test it. But before we do that, let's add quick customizations. I clicked on settings and then I went to AI. Here we can actually prompt our agent with how we want it to act. You could either choose from one of the instructions in here. I'm happy with the AI agent one. If you wanted to, you can remove all of this and then give it your own prompt, but I'm happy with this one. You can change the temperature, so how creative you want it to be. I'm gonna keep it on reserved because I'm happy with that. I don't need my agent to be too creative. And on the top, we can actually choose a model. So we have a choice of all of these different models so that we can choose the one that we think works best for our use case. And then we can also customize what it looks like. We can click on chat interface on the left side and here customize what our agent actually looks like. We can change the display name, the initial message, message placeholder, and then in the style tab, you can actually change the colors, like changing it to dark and changing the other colors here. So I went through and I did a few customizations. So I uploaded a profile picture here by clicking this. I also changed the chat icon, changed the colors to match my website. And that's it, it's ready to be tested out. Once you're ready testing your agent, you can go to playground. And in here you can ask it questions. For example, tell me about the different plans you have available. In just a few seconds, it's able to retrieve the information that it's trained on and respond to that query with high details. If you want to, you can actually change the prompt here and then see how it responds. Also, if you're getting some kinds of weird responses, you can go on show sources and actually see where the chatbot got the sources from for each one of the answers. And if you wanted to, you can actually compare it against other agents. We can click on the compare button here. Then we can click on add an agent. And then here, for example, we could change the model to Claude. And then let's say we give it a high temperature. And then we can ask it the same question. We could see live that actually the ChatGPT mini is way faster, which makes sense. But we can see that the Claude one actually has a bit nicer formatting. And at the bottom, it even includes additional benefits. If we go to activity and we go to chat logs, we can actually customize how we want ChatBase to answer. For example, if we could see that previous question that we asked, and here, if we didn't like this answer, we can click on revise answer and write the expected response instead. I'm happy with the response that we got, but if we weren't happy, we could enter the response here, click on update answer, and then our chatbot will be trained on that answer that we gave it. So remember it next time the question is asked. But now let's now actually deploy our agent to the website and see how it functions with the Stripe functionality. I'm gonna click on deploy here, then we have a few options. If you click on embed, you can actually embed it as a chat bubble or iframe directly on the page. If you click on integrations, you can actually link it directly to your social media accounts like WhatsApp, Zapier, Slack, WordPress, Instagram, Messenger, and Shopify coming soon. For our use case, I'm gonna embed it on our website. So I'm gonna click on embed chat bubble copy the code that we are given. So our sample website is on Replit. So all I did is I told it to insert this code, give it the code that we were given from Chatbase, and then told it it is Chatbase integration, and then sent it as a prompt for Replit to do. And within just a minute, my chatbot was integrated. You could see it in the bottom right here. Let's test it out. So let's first test the invoice functionality. Ask it, I'd like to check my last invoice. So I told it, I'd like to check my last invoices. As I'm using sample data, obviously it gave me the amounts and zeros, but as you could see, it pulled up our last four invoices. Uh, there's a link here, so we can actually click on it and get the PDF, as well as this little previews on Stripe that we can click and actually see this last invoice on Stripe directly. Now let's try out subscription info. So I'm gonna ask it, what plan am I on right now? And here you go, it told us exactly what plan we're on now, how much we're paying and our billing dates, as well as the card that we used. Then let's say the user decided that they want to upgrade. So I'm gonna say, I'd like to upgrade to the better plan. In just a few seconds, it responds with the upgraded plan. Here the user would be able to see the extra charge that they have to pay. In our case, it's zeros as I'm using mock data but then we could click on confirm and that's it. Our plan has now been upgraded. Literally as simple as that, one message, one click, and the user is able to upgrade their plan. But now let's say the user realized that they need to actually change their billing address or their next payment won't come through. So let's say I'd like to change 
my billing address. And that's it. Then in a few seconds, it gave us a form here that we can fill in to update our address. So let's update it. Once we're done, we can just click on update address, then click confirm. And that's it. Then just a few messages and a few clicks, our users are now able to change their subscription plans, get their invoices, and even update their billing address. So there you have it. Four powerful actions that can handle the majority of your billing support requests instantly. Your customers get immediate answers, your support team can focus on complex issues, and your business scales without needing to add headcount. Companies using the setup report reducing billing support tickets by up to 85% while improving customer satisfaction. Drop a comment down below with your biggest billing support challenges. We read every single one and often turn them into future videos. And if you want more AI support tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell.